Hey, what's up? Welcome to Degen Ed. That's degenerative education, meaning none of this is financial advice. Just me having fun looking at charts like the chart behind me, which is of Canoe, ticker symbol G-O-E-V. And here we are looking at the daily chart on Tuesday, April 16th, after Canoe has closed on the day at a price of $2.93, being up more than 18% on the day, having hit a high of $3.29.9, but then pulling back. So, you know, I just wanted to go over that because it does look like Canoe has found a bottom and might be moving up to higher levels, but, you know, also might be finding some support along the way as well as resistance. So I wanted to go over some of those levels. Uh, but before I get into that, I did want to go over this Fibonacci retracement going from the low here hit on March 14th at a price of $1.22 and then going up to the high here hit on March 21st at a price of $4.80.9. And so from that Fibonacci retracement, I do have two levels here, one being the 618 at a price of $2.59.1, and price did actually dip below that before finding a bottom, but did not get to the 786 at a price of $1.98.8, hitting a low on April 12th at a price of $2.07. So that was the best dip buying opportunity following this pullback leading up to this 18% move up. And if we do take a measurement from that low to current price, that represents a 41% swing there. And then up to the high of the day today, that represents a nearly 60% swing. So looking pretty good there following this pullback. Uh, but you know, I do think we did get rejected from a level that might be significant, might be one to be paying attention to. And that is the 382 from this retracement here, going from the high here to the low here. And that being at a price of $3.11.6. As you can see clearly, we did get a wick above that level today, but did close below it at $2.93, and actually closing below $3 a share, that being a whole number, a psychological level, that will be a key one for us to be closing above. And also, you know, interestingly, uh, we did, you know, fill this gap that was formed here from the lows here. Uh, but then if we look at the low on April 1st, that was $3.41.5. So we still have a little bit of room to go before we fill that low. However, you know, the gap was really formed based on the close of that day, which was at a price of $3.87. So getting up to that level would really be a proper gap fill. And that would correspond with getting to just above the 618 level from the retracement here that being at a price of $3.76.3. Hopefully we can get to that level this week. It would be amazing to see a Friday close above it and you know, potentially getting higher like to the 786 here at a price of $4.22.3. But if we don't see those highs this week, it might be good or it might be healthy to be pulling back to like this yellow line here, the 618 from this retracement, $2.60 right around there. I do think it would be good for us to be showing some support there as it was notable resistance throughout this consolidation here, pulling back to test that as support, I think would be really healthy before a continuation higher. And also if we do look at the volume profile based on you know any of the consolidation that we've seen here, the price action over here in the candle, that is represented in this volume profile. And we do see a volume shelf here corresponding with the 618 level here. So, you know, if we do pull back to that level, I do think we would be finding support. That could be a nice dip buying opportunity before a continuation to the upside. But, you know, of course, it may not hold if it does pull back. So do keep a lookout. Make sure we are respecting the level here, $2.59.1. Or, you know, really, I mean, you could just look to the high 
hit on April 9th, that being at a price of $2.55, or really, you know, just the, you know, kind of round number, $2, two quarters, $2.50. I think that's going to be a key one, you know, given that it is psychological. We think in dollars, we think in quarters. And hopefully we can hold that if there is a pullback. And hopefully that does represent a great dip buying opportunity before we start to see some more big green candles in Canoe's future. Uh, but, you know, we're just going to have to wait and see. But, you know, those are just my thoughts. If you found them helpful, make sure you like the video, share your thoughts in the comments down below, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks a lot for watching.